Hi again and welcome to my channel. My name is Mas. Uh, today I have a chicken coop project in mind and I'll explain that what I'm planning to do. So with those who have chooks, uh, sometimes you want to go away for one or two weeks, but you're wondering who's going to look after your flock, your chickens. And the main reason is water and feed supply, as long as they are safe from the predators. Uh, over here I have a 200 liter barrel. It used to have hospital grade disinfectant in it, but I've washed one of them five to six times. It should be quite safe to use now. So we will add some drinkers to it together. It should be quite easy to do. And uh, some modification have been done already on the coop by myself. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like right now, uh, what has been done and what can be improved in it. Uh, yeah, let's go and see it together. This is two of my coops. Uh, that one over here is not in use yet. Uh, I've done some work already. There was a nesting box there. I've cut it and blocked it. It does need a latch over here. This nesting box, I made it and put it lower for a breed like silkies. Uh, they don't like to jump high so they can use it over here. This stack over here, they, I didn't touch them. It's been like that since I moved in here. This is my stuff. So nesting box was blocked and I put these panels so it gives some protection from the wind during winter. That's the other coop that I'm using at the moment. So where I'm standing is north and the coop is facing west. Uh, if you look at here, there used to be a tree here, someone had cut it, the previous tenant, he thought it's useless here. But whoever has built that coop is well facing west, that means in summer it gets too much heat in it and the chicken would not stay in it during day. So there were so many small branches here, I trimmed it and left two of the good one and with two supports, one will go straight up without blocking the door, the other one will go in the angle. I've also planted one here, so hopefully it'll grow soon for next summer, give some shade to this coop, and I will plant another one somewhere there to block this coop as well. One of the reason I'm insisting to plant a tree next to the coop, uh, let me show you what, uh, this is a cabin house, someone built it years ago, and look at this tree. It's covering the entire cabin. In summer when it was 45 degrees, just because of this tree, that wouldn't reach more than 35. So I was able to hatch some eggs in it. I had a broody sitting on eggs here. And they were all hatched. One of the silkies hatched six eggs. So look at this tree. This is the west side, so look at the sun. This is winter sun. Imagine how summer sun would be. It's covering the coop entirely. Well, it was a cabin, but I'm using it as a coop. So what I'm planning there in the main coops is to turn it into something like this. nesting box was here you could have access from the outside to it but it was getting too hot and chicken didn't like it and they would lie anywhere in the bush so I cut it and blocked this area it kind of gives a bit of protection from the wind and I moved it here over here the other things I've done is I put two panels here uh, they're sitting about two meters high. Uh, one of the good things about it is if one night I forget to close the coop, a fox walks in and he has to come up with a solution to get to the two meters high. Solution is here. He can jump on this and grab a chicken and run away, but it may not be in a smart fox. So 
you have a bit of chance to survive.
So you saw what happened, the eyes of browns were the first bird that could get up to here. The reason for that is they are much lighter in comparison to winded. You can see the size. And eyes has got longer legs, so they can jump higher. But why did they come up with the idea to go on the nesting box and then jump up to there? The other things I've done, I moved that feeder from here because the wire was getting in the way. I put it right there, still hanging. These four, they always sleep on the floor because silkies, they prefer to be on the floor. And these two wind it, they are actually the babies of that little gray silkies after six months of age they're still sleeping with mom so i might have to adjust the height of this stick if it's sitting too high here is winter so in the morning when they landing it's a bit cold that can hurt their feet so especially with no bedding on the floor And Mr. Bernie is doing the final check on the chickens. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And to see more updates on this coop projects.